Hello everybody, how you doing? Welcome to Duck Nation. This is the Duck, and today I'm going to show you how to stream on your Mac using OBS and your Elgato HD or HD60 game capture card. So stay tuned, it's coming right up. Okay, first thing you need to do, if you haven't done so already, is go and get OBS Studio. OBS stands for Open Broadcast Software. You go to obsproject.com and select Mac OS 10.10 Plus and download it and install it to your Mac. So in order for OBS to have access to your desktop sound, you're going to need to download the Soundflower app. Link will be in the description. Download this app, install it onto your Mac. You need to open up your Elgato software and select your microphone. So in this case, we're going to go ahead and select my Blue USB Audio 2.0. Also, so just leave your commentary off here, but make sure your software isn't muted, okay? So if that has that little line through there, that's muted. If it's open like that, it's not muted. So leave this unmuted. The next thing you wanna do is open up your OBS. You're gonna get this forever screen, ignore that. Then you're gonna set up your audio. You're gonna hit settings, go to audio, and where it says desktop audio device, go ahead and click on the drop down menu and select either Soundflower 2 channel or 64 channel. In this case, I'm gonna pick Soundflower 2 channel. Click OK, and you're good. Next thing you wanna do is go to your settings. Go to system preferences, Go to sound, it says select a device for your sound output. I use multi output device. Go ahead and click on this and you're good. Next thing you're going to do is open up OBS and where it says scenes in the bottom left corner, you're going to go ahead and hit the plus sign and create a new scene. You hit the plus sign, name your scene. I already named one, I called it test here. And then you're gonna go to sources. And as you see, all these sources belong to that scene. Okay, scenes and sources are separate. Sources make up a scene. In this case, we're gonna go ahead and open one here. Go to display capture. And I already did this. And we got this display capture normal here. That's what I call it. Basically, this shows your whole display. So now we're ready to add your image overlay and your webcam. So first off, let's add the image overlay I'm gonna add. Hit the plus sign, go to image. And over here, you see I already have some existing ones. I'm gonna pick my MLB The Show overlay. I'm gonna pick that one, hit okay. And as you can see, it's right here. And this is where you size it up to fit your screen. And you can play with that a little bit so you can get it to fit right. Now we're gonna go ahead and add our webcam. So hit plus, go to video capture device. Here I'm gonna go ahead and pick my Logitech webcam. Hit okay. And there we are now on the screen. So we can size this up and we're gonna place this in the corner here just to fit in that box. And there you have it. Now it's time to go ahead and open up your Elgato game capture software and put it up on your display. I place it over here in the left hand corner here and I move my OBS over here on the right side. This is how I work with my desktop. 
Once you're here, you're going to want to capture only this portion of the window capture. That's what you, that's the only thing you want to capture. Go in to the settings and crop this and make it so that it only fits this portion here, which is this left hand portion. You can put it wherever you want. It's up to you, but this is how I do it. This is how I wanted to show you guys. I'll go over here to display capture normal and I'm going to hit filters. I'm going to add a filter and it's going to be the crop pad. Hit the crop pad, hit OK. We're going to set up. This is where it gets really, really tricky, guys. You're going to have to come in here and put in different numbers. The numbers are going to be different for everybody. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and plug in. I'm going to leave top, the left alone. I'm going to leave it left at zero. For the top, I'm going to put 155. That's what works for me. And for the right, I'm going to put 1080. And then for the bottom, I'm going to put 1474. Again, this is going to be different for everybody. And I'm going to hit close. And there you have it. I'm going to go ahead and pull this. And you're going to have to play with this and adjust it. This, those are just rough settings that I use right now. And you're going to have to adjust this. So, uh... You're gonna have to adjust it so it fits on the screen just right. Adjust it just so it fits on the screen just right. Open it up a little bit. And that's just a rough right there. I, you gotta play with it. I got it set up perfectly, but for the sake of the time of this video, we're gonna leave it like this. All right. So once you got that, we're gonna fire this game up. And as you can see, there's our display. Bring it down a little bit. We want it to get it fit. And there you have it, guys. So now we're ready to start streaming. I'm going to show you guys how to set up your stream and your stream key. All right, so now you got your Algato video captured in the source. You got your overlay set up. You got your camera set up and you can you can still there's still a whole bunch of stuff you can do but i'm just showing you guys the basics for this video i'm going to show you guys how to set up your stream and add your stream key on the settings so go to settings go to stream and in here you're going to have your stream services the service i'm using is restream.io and i put in the stream key that that provides for me this is where you plug it in now, if you're a YouTuber and you use YouTube, I will show you from your creator studio, go to live streaming where it says stream now. And in here, you're gonna have your stream key down here at the bottom where it says encoder setup. That, you're gonna copy it and paste it onto your OBS. Also, you gotta understand that where you name your videos, all your stuff you do to your videos is through YouTube or through Twitch or whatever platform is. That's where you're going to change your names of your videos. You're going to add descriptions. You're going to add all that stuff. And that's the information I can cover in another video. But basically, that's where you name your videos, okay? Well, that's pretty much it. I just gave you guys the basics. Let me go ahead and make my screen a little larger. We're all set up. You got your Algato HD in your display capture. You have your audio set up with Soundflower for the Mac. You've already changed your settings in your system preferences and in OBS as well. And you also sized up. You got your stream key. You got your, everything's all set to go. You should be ready to stream. If you guys got any questions, Feel free to drop a comment. Let me know if there's something I missed or if there's something you have a specific question on. By no means am I an expert on OBS. I just was really doing this as a favor to my good friend Turbulent Gamer because he saw that I was using... Because I've been using Algato since I got it because Algato is super, super easy to use. It is pretty much 
you know, no input. I was really afraid to use OBS. Now, I wished I would have used OBS from the beginning and I would have figured this out from the start because OBS gives you so much more freedom to do different things, to add overlays, to add browser captures, to do all these little things that Agato just doesn't allow. Plus, Agato really has issues with lagging and whatnot. The audio always was really buggy. So with OBS, I'm having a little bit more success. Hopefully this helps. Thanks for watching. Drop a like, subscribe to the channel. And as always, I really appreciate all your support. This is The Duck and I'm out.